is done gone and I'm on Excel and I'm just going to record right now. Might as well record an episode because I saw this tree on fire. And I don't know what's happening over here. Right now we have Kazakh and Punkster online. Cackling Panda just left. Um, and apparently this area is still a lot dark. So why is this tree on fire? Did it like finally catch fire after like months of being on? Yeah, this has been here a long time and it did have the fire here before with the uh, netherrack like that. Um, and I lost the uh, grass apparently. Let's just place this. But Get out of here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe a vine grew all the way down. And it finally burned and then it caught everything else. That's crazy. <laughs> huh. Anyways, I've been playing on here more. Um, so there's a lot of people from Exile. I'm not sure if you could hear the sand or not. In my single player, you can't, but my resource pack has that changed. It sounds very similar to grass, but not quite. And. Oh, hey, I'll hold. Hey. Um, so, yeah, the tree's on fire. It's odd. Um, so, I, I've been building around my uh, base some more. And. Not, I'm not working on the map much recently. Still as is, still as you saw in the last video from this series. I've been coming back to here, and as you can see, I've been making, messing around with custom trees. Um, I've been watching a lot of MC Koopo. Um, that MC Koopo. And she's been like. I think one like the biggest thing I got from her video is that she doesn't like notch trees at all. And by that I'm assuming she means the vanilla default trees from uh, the normal shape, which doesn't I don't have around anymore, to the um, jungle trees. Um, I slightly disagree because I love the jungle trees in Minecraft, but I somewhat agree that there's not enough variety in tree shapes in the game. So I'm around here, I've just been messing around with this custom design. Um, I wanted went with this because it's too high off the ground for until you hit the leaves. So you don't run into the leaves, all you need to worry about is the trunks. And you could also gain like a little sprint double boost um, when you run past them like doo -doo, doo -doo. Cause like when you uh, jump and hit your head, you jump, you go down quicker and you get another jump and it makes you even faster. So like, you get these nice little planned jumps like that. And there's this here. Shouldn't it be here? But yeah, I've been like, kind of like messing around with all of this. And here's my horsey. I need a horsey pen because the leads, they break. Whenever I load the chunk, they break off the horse or off the animals and they become an entity on the ground like this and then they despawn. So what used to be a stack of eight leads became one. And I just found it fen <coughs> Sorry. I just found it the fence instead because it just kept the horse in place and I don't lose out on leads. But we finally have passive mobs back on the server after all the cats that happened with one of the uh, early 1.6 snapshots we updated to it and our spawn came cat crazy so we finally got them back and I I got the chickens from the eggs which I had saved before and I just got them and I've been using the seeds from that to get more and I had to drag a cow and uh, two cows and two sheep from way out there because it took they never actually spawn near here. I was hoping they could respawn close, but they didn't. So I had to kind of like lead them all the way over here. 
and uh, they're loud. I got them finally, so I could finally get this going again. Um, dark spots. Mm, lots of wheat. Let's get some wheat. Yeah, I'm gonna need more food though, because I've been running through bread so fast, it's kind of surprising that Steve or me isn't fat anymore, uh, fat yet, but um, I'm gonna need to expand the farm, maybe make the same design here, across the river there, like a mirrored version on the other side. I think I might be necessary to continue surviving off of bread, but as far as other food go, I don't eat meat in vanilla, and I have a ton of stored beef, and I've been giving that out, but I've kind of been wanting name tags, and despite the fact that I spent hours caving in new chunks, I found zero name tags so far, so if you have any spare name tags, I love them. Uh, if anybody, any other XL watching this and has them. So let's get some more of cows going. Um, in return, you could have a stack of raw beef or more. Um, it's basically free, anyway, so whatever you think is fitting. Um, let's go over to my sheep. Here, sheepy sheepy, I need to get you all backed up and going. I um, actually should uh, probably put the colors I need back on them before I breed too many white. So blue, purple, cyan, light blue. Let's do one of each color. I don't have purple. I can make purple though. Blue, purple, cyan, light blue. Let's make purple. Blue, purple, and light blue. Sweet. Um, let's get out of here. I still need a good way in and out of here. And 1.6 is supposedly won't glitch through fences anymore, which would be really nice, but. Um, until then, I'll have to stay in this like double pen, and it's very annoying to get in and out of here. Um, I'll also need yellow, orange, red, and pink. So let's get those. The purple way, yellow, orange. I'll need one of these and two red, so I can get some more pink. And bam. Oh, I don't want gold. No, 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 stop it. Okay, let's do this. Sweet. And uh, let's actually take a look at... I want to actually try something out. So what I'll need is some uh, jungle leaves. And I have jungle planks. So let's tear down one of these jungle trees. Type of leaves. Uh oh. Okay, cool. Oh, one more. Okay. Let's tear down the stump as well. Okay, what's going on here? I don't know. I'll catch up later, but, um,. Do I have enough leaves? 57? Yeah, that's going to be enough. I want to see what one of these trees looks like in jungle form. Um, maybe it might look better and that way I'll just replace all them all with jungle forms instead. So I go up 6 and then I do 3 down like that and I go all the way around the trunk. like this 
This is how I've been building them, by the way. And then go up like that, and then fall off. And then just place these extra right there. And then finishing touches. Torches. Just like that. So let's see. Hmm. This kind of look cool. Um, it's the mountain green though. I don't really like that. I don't know why I chose to build in this area. I have a video about it, but um, I don't actually like mountain green all that much. And I don't want to change it in my resource pack because it, it will look like this to everybody else. And, and I'd rather be consistent in that way, at least. Keep the sort of environment greens, swamp, plains, all that stuff as they are normally. Um, why aren't these on the corners? And you can, you can see a little block lag with the fences. I put it on and then it appears and the sound plays late. Um, get it, get it. Aw. Oh, just go in. Um, it might be too dark in the center. So just keep on it close to the middle as you can. Alright, so there we go. Let's see. I kind of like the jungle logs better though. And with the jungle logs, it matches the uh, roads better. Jungle leaves, though. Hmm. I think jungle leaves would be a pain to get. I think I might stick with these normal leaves and try jungle loads. Actually, let's take a look at that here. Some of these trees are normal trees that I kind of terraformed around. I think normal notch trees and terraformed around, transformed into these type. Um. So they have some normal leaves in here, and they will despawn if I'm not quick enough. So let's do it. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, cool. Actually, kind of like this. I don't know, I like the jungle logs as they are. And it just matches the area better, I think. Wow, we found Scully Spawner at four records. It's crazy. <laughs> um, get out of here. <laughs> Alright, but uh, I guess a few other updates I updated in here. I'm not sure if this is. New. I think I showed this though. Um, but I added these little item frames above because I got confused for a second. And uh, just fixed it here. I actually need to empty out this chest. I got a ton of hardened, a ton of clay. Um, took my silk touch shovel and got a bunch of clay. Um, it doesn't give you more clay, but it does save you the hassle of recrafting it all, and it saves your inventory a bit too. And so I just went with the silk touch. I have no need for silk touch shovels because um, it's only really good for grass, clay, and mycelium. And it works on like, other things like ice, but it doesn't break it faster, even with efficiency. So it's kind of like, just use a pick on those instead. So I have no need to save this particularly, so I just used it on the clay and got all this hardened clay, which I might, will probably be using around, I'm not sure where or how, but um, it's pretty valuable. I used a bit of it here. This is black stained clay. Um, but yeah. And the last thing I've been working on recently besides the trees is this area. Um, I've been uh, kind of clearing it out. A lot of grass through here. So you can tear it all down with silk touch. But yeah, it's clearing it out and making this flat, making this a more cliff. And then kind of wrapping it around here. Because I never liked this field of mountain 
kind of just like coming down into the docks like it is kind of over here I'll probably do the same thing over here is over here but not, not as extensive maybe like half this high like three blocks up maybe like this the logs let's actually take the logs and go on, on this level it's actually just flat on this level uh, remove all this junk and then replace this wall with something else let's get those two grass before they go away so I don't really want the dirt here tragedy um <laughs> yeah that looks significantly better already and then didn't even do much to it yet um this is my uh attempted auto chicken farm but the chickens escaped out of the glass um every time the chunks were loaded why can't i sting my mouse i can't actually place anything what's going on come on game okay there we go that's weird but yeah, they kept escaping from the glass here, and uh, I'm not sure what all this is. This looks like a clock. It turns on when there's something in the hopper. And then it powers the dispenser. Which is not actually what it's doing. Oh, there we go. It doesn't power it for very long. It doesn't go through all the eggs. Hmm. Yeah, it's... Yeah, we have two chickens in there. We'll see if they actually survive long enough for actually to work. But obviously, this clock isn't working too well, so I'll tear this down. Um, I do want to get an auto chicken cooker, an uh, auto chicken farm. I know what pick on me. Just put them away. Can I grab redstone? No, I can't. Oh no, I corrupted it. I need two spider eyes now. I don't know why or how. But I want flowers. Oh dear. <laughs> um, but wasn't I done this one as a tree on fire? Um, it's actually dark here. So we should keep it light. Awesome. It was raining here earlier today in uh, Vegas where I live. It was just for like a minute, but it actually like made my mood so much better. I don't know. I love rain. Um, yeah, I love rain, and it's just calming to me. And thunder makes the calm excitement. I mean, the torches. But yeah, I'm going to probably work on these docks a little bit more. Um, depending on how long this little clip is, it might be an episode. I'll just keep it as part one of the episode. But if it's the end here, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Alright, not going to lie. That was a pretty bad exit if that was going to be an exit. So I'm going to show off a little bit of what I've been doing. Um, I actually just worked on the uh, thing down there a bit um, I'm still gonna need to do this um, 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 um. Yep. but <laughs> I've been working on this and I got a lot done and I liked what I have and that was a little bit of ping lag whatever so uh, yeah I cleared it out got out all of that stuff I made another staircase here and that's my original idea of what I wanted to do around this 
area to make an extra staircase on the other side, make it more complete, and spooky. Um, I also took out. Oh, what? Oh yeah, cause these slabs still get broken by axes. But I um. I took out all the dirt here and replaced it with these like swimming pool half slabs. I don't know, it reminds me of a swimming pool for some reason. And I also randomized the floor all around here with jungle planks, these slabs, and wood, uh, normal wood planks to match the themes I had going here with the jungle stone slabs and the wood planks on the sides there and on the sides of the stairs here and what I meant by that was yeah that um, don't know why that's still in the game every other efficiency thing was nerfed but that still exists um, but got the side walls here matched up and cleaned up I had a do a staircase here for its sign and the chest open up the chest so that's why the pattern's broken there Maybe I could do another one. Uh, it's asymmetrical. Yeah, it's this is three wide. This is even numbered, so it won't work. So never mind. Forget that that idea. But I don't know. I have this going. A chicken did escape from this pen. It happened when it grew up. Uh, grew up and got pushed out for some reason and the chicken actually escaped up the staircases and this was a few minutes ago so I don't know where the chicken went alright hunt for this chicken I guess I don't want random wandering chicken around All I could hear are these chickens and the other chickens. It's going to be hard to find this one. Yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> but yeah, the third chicken that was in there escapes when it grew up. So that's the problem I have with that. So when it grows up, it... I guess when it grows up against the corners, it would escape. So we maybe need to check to see if covering these corners will help. I imagine it might, but I don't know. Anyways, I thought it might be cool to have like the chicken storage visible on this wall here. Make it so the glass, it's a glass wall on this part and have the chicken visible. I don't know, I think that'd be pretty cool. The lower, the lowermost block should be something solid and then the glass maybe be three high. Like, I don't know, let me get some of these and just have it like that and then the glass and then, yeah, because <laughs> I don't want glass on the floor, I think that looks bad. So yeah, that's uh, this area is shaping up and the trees are, I really like these trees actually. I just like doing, doing that extra little jump boost style thing with the corners. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. That's it for here in Exile. Aha! Yeah. And the meat, where is the meat? Let's put them in my exports. But yeah, that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to do a proper ending this time. But tell me your thoughts on this area and the trees specifically. What type of tree is best? This style with the jungle logs, normal leaves, normal logs, normal leaves jungle logs, jungle leaves.
I guess I can make it a full cycle and do jungle leaves normal logs. But I don't want to mess jungle leaves too much. I'll just say that right now. So let me know your thoughts on which one is better. And I will see you next time. Bye bye everyone.